蘇利斯會喺早前決定保留皇家騎警，唔再繼續過度治事件嘅工作。對此，卑斯省長尹大衛曾公開表示，咁對於呢個決定感到擔憂。而反對黨聯合黨黨領馮義幹亦都明確支持蘇利繼續過度治事件。朝野兩黨喺呢個議題上有類似想法嘅同時，究竟兩黨對於蘇利保留皇家騎警有乜嘢憂慮？對蘇利市又會帶嚟啲乜嘢影響呢？喺今晚嘅政論中話，兩位黨領就會喺訪問中發表各自嘅睇法。對於蘇利市議會決定保留皇家騎警，卑斯省長尹大衛表示，佢最擔心嘅係人手配備。So the current step is that Surrey has provided their plan to the Solicitor General, the Public Safety Minister. His public service team is reviewing it to see whether it will meet the conditions that have been placed on Surrey in order to return to the RCMP. The main one is quite straightforward. You can't hurt other communities' policing efforts. Uh, it's hard to recruit RCMP right now. It's hard to get trained RCMP in place. They can't uh, be pulled into Surrey to solve this problem for Surrey, among other conditions. 温大卫又表示，喺省法务厅长范和夫审查苏里市府提交嘅报告后，如果合乎条件，就会支持保留骑警；否则就会提出另外指示。對此，卑斯聯合黨黨領馮義幹表示，省政府缺乏領導力，導致問題至今仍未解決。Um, the province instead of you know、uh, showing some leadership and saying, okay, hang on a second here, we are going to do what the facts tell us is the right thing to do and make a decision. But they haven't done that. And instead, what they've done is they've wrote, written a report. The report they released to the public and including myself. 80% of the pages were blocked out, so the public doesn't have any idea what the facts of this situation are. 而尹大卫表示，苏利市民有需要获得保证，一旦需要警方求助，必须有警员尽快响应。秘书联合党党领冯义干咁曾公开表示支持数理继续过渡至市警。佢认为呢个问题喺数理反复争论超过四年，带来灾难性嘅影响。The NDP government and Michael Farnworth have mishandled this file right from the get-go, and now we've got a situation where it's costing Surrey eight million dollars a month. Well, they because they haven't figured out who their police force is yet. 佢表示，為咗確保公眾對最終決定有信心，所有決定都應該透明化，讓公眾了解選擇騎警或者市警嘅利弊。一份最新嘅調查顯示，五百分之四十六嘅受訪卑斯省民認為，數理應該保留皇家騎警，而只有百分之二十六表示支持過渡至數理市警。好啦，今晚嘅政論中環就講到嚟呢度